Sometimes things don't go as planned. So you guys are about to watch Kid on the Couch episode 147. And we wanted to let you know, we started doing this as a live stream, as we always do every Monday at 10 a.m. But we started having some technical issues a little bit in. So we had to stop the stream and restart it. And so we decided to download everything, stitch it together as one video. Uh, now you will find in the beginning, there may be some glitchy audio. Please stick with it. And somewhere about 15 to 20 minutes in, you will see it gets better because we were able to start recording it here in the studio. And I hope that even as you watch this patchwork quilt, you will find encouragement that even when mistakes happen or things don't go as planned, persevere and you will see success. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 147. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, Welcome. Yes, if you are new here, say hi down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like oh. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time Joe uses his teeth to open something, <laughs> you'll be alerted to it. Don't use your teeth. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm so excited. We're coming into a new year. We get to spend the first Monday of it with you. Mm -hmm. I love that. So if you're new to our channel, this is Keto on the Couch. It's uh, a weekly program we do. It's all about subscribers. We read comments from our Facebook group and from last week's Keto on the Couch, and we share subscriber stories. Uh, now, we kind of don't pay attention to the chat until after we are through all of the subscriber stories in the comments, because a lot of people like to come back and watch it on a replay, and it, it does kind of take away from it if we're constantly looking at the chat. But if you have something you want to talk about, right away, like maybe there's a comment that comes up or something and you want to comment and you want us to talk about it. James likes my shirt. Go ahead and use the uh, super chat function down below. Couple little housekeeping things. Yes. Want to let you know the perfect keto sale is still going on. There's a link down below. Um, it's if you buy two items and you use that link, you will get 15% off. And I think it's three or four more items. You get 25% off. Also, Keto Brick, who never has sales. They never have a sale. And they are a huge supporter of Two Crazy Ketos. We love Robin and Chris, uh, Robin, 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 Robert and Crystal. Here we go. And uh, so they're having a sale because what they did was they built their new compound and they're, they built the bricks. They put bricks up on the wall and they're writing people's names on the bricks. So if you use the link down below and the code brick by brick, you will get 15% off. It's only this week. And then they also write your name on the brick. And I was talking How to Robert and Robert's like, I just can't take looking at a wall that is only half filled with names. Yeah. So he's like, we're doing this again because I need to fill the wall. I want to, I want every brick to have somebody's name because that the company like my personality. was built brick by brick. So yeah. use that link down below. We absolutely love Robert and Crystal. And it's a great product. As a matter of fact, John Paul and Michelle were over yesterday. And, you know, John Paul is into lifting weights that Michelle was a CrossFit trainer. They, they built a CrossFit gym in their garage. And he's like, I want to try that thing. So I, I really this was hesitant. Love. But I gave him the best flavor. I the know. buttered maple pecan one. I, I have a limited amount. And it only comes out once a year. But He I was so excited. He goes, ooh, chocolate peanut butter. I normally love things that are chocolate peanut butter. And I was like, I gave him one of those. You're going to love the other one even more. So, hey, we're sharing a coffee experience right now. Right now, we are. Yeah, because uh, this is day three of beef butter bacon and egg 2.0, which means it can also include keto chow, although we you have not had a keto chow. You don't think that my chow. coffee experience is going to be just that, right? <laughs> like, nobody thought that, right? Now, I wanted to share one more thing, and we're going to talk about it. We are vlogging most of beef butter bacon egg. We did not vlog on Saturday because it was New Year's Day, and we didn't vlog on Sunday because we're trying to make Sundays 
uh, a Sabbath day for us and not vlog. Once in a while, we probably will, but we're trying to just take that as a church day and a relaxing day. But I wanted to share something that on January 7th, it'll be the seven year anniversary for Keto Chow. How awesome. And uh, one of their employees, Travis, has a mom and a daughter who both have cancer. And so they're doing something very special. I'm really excited about this. And what it is, is they're doing a Tough Like Emma, Strong Like a D campaign. And on January 7th, 10% of the profits are going to go over to their campaign to help with all of the medical costs and stuff. So what if you have to purchase something, if you need to purchase something, do it on that day. There's also a donate button when you go to make your purchase, if you want to just donate directly to the GoFundMe. And also what they're doing is on January 7th, do some kind of movement, post it on social media with the hashtag, uh, what is it? Uh, strong like, uh, tough like Emma. Tough so like Emma and strong like I me. left a link for the blog post down below. So go ahead and check out the blog post. There's a little YouTube video over there. And uh, just go ahead and check out. And if you feel like called to do it, go ahead and donate to them. Travis is a great guy. Really. Works in customer service. Really wonderful young just man. Just awesome. I mean, everybody at Keto Chow is amazing. But, you know, that's a hard thing, especially when you have a mom and a daughter both going yeah. through cancer and chemotherapy and stuff. You want to get right into all the comments yes, so that we can to get to the, the chat? Yes, because you know it'll drive me nuts. Okay. So let me put that back up there for Just you. for me. Just for you, but you can't Thank read you. the side. I one. won't. I'll be good. Okay. Uh, let's get into Keto on the Catch. Was there anything else you needed to talk about? Well, I just wanted to see, because I do see Rihanna, and mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you so much for the little people nativity set. It's in my she shed, looking yeah. all cute and fly. I'm just enjoying it. So we did, I did want to mention, I know it's going to seem weird. We do have one more vlog from last year that we vlogged on Thursday and part of Friday. That is going to come out later on today. And then we will be caught up. So you're going to see us probably eat some stuff in there. Yeah. That is not part of beef, butter, bacon. And Sorry. Egg. That is from, but I, I really, there was some good stuff in there. We talked about a cool couple of topics and we did get some nice presents from people yeah. and we want to honor those people by showing us opening them up. I, I talk, thought about not putting that vlog out Do everybody. and then I decided, no, we need to put it out because we appreciate when somebody sends me yes. a Harry Potter mug. That's so sweet. Just to like you thinking of us mm -hmm. makes, just makes our day. And um, also some people are just new to the keto space and they're not doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. They're just starting out keto. Yep. So we're not going to be eating anything that wouldn't be off keto. Right. So it can still hopefully be a help to them. Oh, a couple other housekeeping things. If you are a Patreon member or you are one of the higher levels of our channel members, thank you very much. What is it? No Nor called Dennis said for a $4.99 super chat, say, hey, with the Keto Chow January that Rachel did, what are the rules with that? Can you use coffee in the recipes? Can you still do the recipes and stuff? So again, we put a whole video out on that. It came out on Saturday. So you can go ahead and check that one out. It's got a big red thumbnail. Yeah. And it's new year, new do. So that's the best way without like taking too long to talk about it here on Keto on the Couch. Uh, but basically, we're limiting ourselves to one coffee experience a day and up to one Keto Chow. And this is what day. a coffee experience for Rachel looks like. Yeah. It's, so it's not tiny. The, the idea is like coffee experience is whatever you want to drink in one sitting, but not like have a coffee now and then have a second coffee later on in right. the day. And we talk about why that is in that video. It comes back from what we discussed with Dr. Barry. Uh, so if you are a Patreon member or one of the higher levels of our channel members, we will be doing our monthly live stream. We're getting back into that this coming Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Yay! time. So really excited about that. And then the following Tuesday, because that will be the second Tuesday of the month, will be the free coaching with, with Bronson, Bronson on Zoom, which I believe is at 6.30 p.m. if I remember. It's either 6 or 6.30, I don't remember. But there will be a post up about that. Also, later on in the week, we will be putting live on our website because some people have asked us about coaching or helping with macros and stuff. So that will be live on the website. I do have to get the rest of our schedule because what it'll be is you'll be able to go in there and then book your time slot. Uh, obviously not a requirement. Some people have asked us, so we said, we'll, we'll just put it out there. And if you want to use it, you want to use it. 
we do a lot of free stuff right here. We really try not to lock anything. It's more people who want more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of experience. Uh, I do want to say there will be some things in there. You're going to see, like, if you're not if you're not willing to do certain things, you don't even want to be bothered. You don't want to waste your time. Like, if you're not willing to give up certain ingredients, you probably won't even want to be bothered with us because yeah. we're going to tell you like it is. If you've learned anything about me, if you've been watching us for any length of time, you're going to know I'm going to be pretty straightforward with you. Like, don't eat certain foods. Like, that. our peanut butter cups made with a company – that starts with an R, yeah. right? Like, so don't eat that kind of stuff. So that'll all be on the website a little bit later on the week. We're just kind of putting the, the finishing touches on that stuff. Let's get into our first aspect of Keto on the Couch, and that is going to be our Keto College Adjunct Professor Yay! of the Week. This is a post I found over on our Facebook group that I found very inspirational. And I'm going to put it up here. Oh, it's from yes. Juliana. Said, hey, Juliana. Don't forget to make today awesome. Said, the day you plant the seed isn't the day you eat the fruit. Amen. Right? Is that awesome? I feel like sometimes I'm thinking the opposite of that. I'm thinking, okay, I have decided to do the right thing and make good choices. And I'm going to put a whole 24 hours into this. Right. And I expect by the next day that I can see results. I don't know why. I know that like you have to plant a seed, water it, sunlight, take time to right. do things, but I expect immediate results. Like I'm going through a McDonald's drive through on my goals. I'd like a number four, please. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, and that's a perfect post for, you know, starting the new year, starting beef, butter, bacon, egg, if you are doing that, because the bottom line is that we get messages with people all the time. I've been doing keto for a week and I don't see the results. <laughs> and it's like, oh it's, my gracious. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. It's, it's gonna take a while. You're gonna see some results right away. Some results you're not going to see. There's things happening inside. If you've been eating a really poor version of the standard American diet for years, your body's got some healing to do. And there yes. may be some inward change going on that you don't see physically, but it's going to come, but you've got to give things time. I saw a couple of comments up here that just caught my eye. I wanted to mention this. Carrie said, now I have to try and figure out how to do keto on carnivore in $15. That is very easy. Uh, we have lots of videos about that. Go back. There are a lot of, we have a, several videos on keto on a budget. They're old, they're cringy, but you can see we've done keto for as little as $3 a day. Yeah. You know, keto doesn't have to be expensive, especially if you're sticking to whole foods. Mm -hmm. I mean, now I fed a family of four yesterday, me, Rachel, John Paul, and Michelle. Well, and Caleb. And Ka oh, Caleb, that's right. Caleb ate some as well. And I think our entire dinner cost me 12 bucks. And I was at home and we Across had five people. We had chili and beef. Yeah. So and it, it, is, it is absolutely possible. You, you just got to, you have to make the decision of what's important to you and what's not important to you. What, what do you value? Uh, one other one, uh, Susan said something about, I, she ordered the brick by brick chocolate malt. I love the chocolate malt flavor, but I wanted to just mention also, if you're doing beef butter bacon, hey, go ahead and get them now. And then save them for later because they are shelf stable and you can yeah. even st extend it even more by sticking them in the freezer. That's where I store mine because we live in Florida. And well, we a lot of soft. times take them camping and things like that because they are very shelf stable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's move on to our first subscriber of the week. So subscriber of the week are stories. Like basically we ask you all the time, please share your story. Your story is going to inspire someone. There's someone out there right now who thinks they're alone. And when you share your story, it helps inspire them. It helps motivate them. It's very important. Plus, it's good for you because you will be able to remember where you came from, and that will help you continue on your journey. And the first one is from Jill. Hey, Jill. Jill said, yesterday I turned 51. I'm at the lowest weight I've be ever been in my adult life. Wow. Even through high school, yesterday my friend, my stepmom, took me shopping. I actually got two shirts that were a size small. The rest were mediums. 18 months ago, I was starting to buy 2X clothes. Here are the reasons for me getting healthy. I added some pictures for when I was heavy. Oh, Jill, you look fantastic. Absolutely. And is that the cutest like little fur baby right there? Oh my gosh. So good. I, thank you. Thank you for sharing that and being willing to, to show how far you've come because right. that's incredible. I'm trying to pull over my thing so I can change slides. There you go. Okay. Next one is from Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Today's measurements from December 27th, 20, 
20 till December 31st, 2021. Now I didn't add everything up because when I first started, I didn't know what to measure. So I stuck with the basics. So as of today, I've lost 17 inches in my waist, 14 inches in my hips, eight and a half inches in each thigh, 12 inches in my thighs together, two inches in each arm, 16 inches in the fattest part of my stomach, 2.5 inches in each calf, six inches over and four inches under my breasts, and 1.25 inches in my neck. I love the little face where it's under my breast because I feel the same way. For a total of 96.25 inches gone right? thanks to keto. Wow. God is good all the time, Ashley. That is awesome. Way to go. Yeah. First comment from YouTube was RJ Love. Hey, RJ. Said, okay, I finally tried the raw egg and butter in my tea in the morning. Oh my goodness. This will be my go-to beverage. Wow. Delicious. That's neat. Because we've never tried it in tea before. No. I wasn't a tea drinker. But it, it just... I, I, we gave it actually to John Paul last night because both of them were like, that sounds weird. And I'm like, I'm telling you, just try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to throw out a cup of coffee and an egg. Yeah. You know? So, and he absolutely loved it. I do see a lot of comments on uh, Facebook from people and even on YouTube, like, are you worried about the raw egg? No, I'm not worried about raw egg. You have a better chance of getting hit by lightning than getting sick from eating a I raw egg. I don't want to get hit by lightning. Um, but a lot of the salmonella issues really come from shells, not from inside. And if you're buying store-bought eggs, you really don't have to worry about it as much. But also, if you've ever eaten like a sunny side up egg or an over medium egg, it's just like eating a yeah. raw egg. So it's, it's, I, I would not, I just personally don't worry about it, but you have to make the decision what you're willing to do. Remember, we are not doctors or nurses or health professionals or anything like that. This is all from studies that I've read and research I've done. I've been eating raw eggs for years. But we and haven't never died. Had an issue. We haven't died. Haven't we're still. I'm, I'm happy to report we're still living. And lots of the eggs that we eat that are raw are like the dollar fifty a dozen eggs you get. Yeah, from all they are not just our backyard eggs. chicken eggs. No, they're they're just regular old eggs. And um, but we don't save it for later. It's not like I I make the coffee and then we just leave it on the counter all day long and drink it at the end of the day. You know, we're pretty much eating it immediately. So. Okay, you ready? Yes. Let's get into the rest of the comments. And again, we apologize, but we're gonna what we're gonna do is if you're watching this later on, we had to restart everything so many times, so we're just gonna upload it as a video. Yeah. Sophie, the next one's from Sophia. She hey, said, Sophia. I would like to add two things to the list. That was a list we had last week from our Keto College adjunct professor of the week. A uh, week uh, to quit number nine taking your health and one and only body for granted. And number 10, treat those that are in your life with kindness that you treat strangers. Yeah. Don't take their presence for granted. The list of eight things resonates in me so strongly. I am surprised my ears aren't ringing. Since I had my epiphany last Christmas, quit sugar December 26, 2020, cold turkey, and wow. went keto February 1st, I am a different person. I not only like my body for the first time ever in 50 years on earth, and I'm happy with my 155 pound weight, but I like me. I love my that. new confidence and ability to speak for myself, my meds and my needs and my happiness. The lack of confidence in oneself makes others' needs more important. Their happiness more important because we feel we don't deserve it. Right. I finally feel that my happiness is equally as important as everybody else's. On another note, I have always believed friends should be like a good bra, supportive, <laughs> lift you up, and cause no pain. Hello, Hello underwire. underwire. Uh, they should offer a non-judgment zone because there is enough of that coming from all corners and a shoulder to cry on when you need it. Sophia, that is really, really smart. I, I love everything that you're saying. I am trying to upload on Instagram and Twitter and like all of our, in MeWe, all of our social media accounts, different like Rachel do's, new do's that I'm doing this year. And so first of all, personally for day one, I shared that I'm only getting on the scale one time a month. Mm -hmm. I will see you again, January 31st, 2022, Mr. Scale. I'm doing it once a month. 
For day two, I talked about staying in my own lane. I am, I'm not going to worry about the success or failure going on around me. I'm staying on my journey and what is good for me. And then today's just happens to be what you're talking about, which is I'm going to speak sweeter to that person that I see in the mirror. There's so many times in the past that I've said things to myself, hurtful things that I would never say to another person, but for whatever reason, I talk to myself like that. So I think it's important for us to speak sweetly to ourselves. And I know you don't like this, but I need to get the stream URL. Oh, okay. Go for it. Okay. At this point, like, I have no nerves left, right? <laughs> like, it's not, nothing is on my nerves because we've expended all of our nerves. Okay, hold on one second. Let me grab You're that. You're deleting that forever? That's okay, That right? That was, uh... It's just Monday. The second one. You know, here's the, I feel like this is the most accurate representation of what it is like to get started with any new goal. If you think that it's gonna, the weather's gonna be perfect and that everything is going to go super smoothly when you are trying to make like a new change for yourself, you're fooling yourself. Yeah, right? now one thing I did wanna mention, we forgot to say in the uh, new year, new do, what we're doing in January thing is, we're going to strongly encourage you to stay off the scale. Yeah. Especially if you are just getting started with beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Why? There's going to be, as we said earlier, some inward change going on, and you may not want to see how it's reflected on the scale. If you do it properly, you will see results. But you can see from the last time we did beef, butter, bacon, and egg, Rachel didn't lose any weight, but she had significant re body recomposition and she lost body fat. So don't worry about the scale. Just go buy your clothes, make sure you take pictures, make sure you're measuring like inches, measure around your waist and your arms and your chest and all of those things, but stay off the scale. Okay, next one is from Barbara. Hey, Barbara. I used many keto recipes for Christmas. I followed the ho, 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 just stay keto. No one knew the meal or desserts were keto. Today went shopping and had an amazing non-scale victory. My size 10 jeans are very loose, so I tried on some new jeans and I had to get a size six. Haven't been this size since before my youngest was born. He is almost 25. I am on cloud nine. Love you guys, this family, and that this is so lifestyle. Awesome. That is seriously awesome. Uh, next one is from Oval. Hey, Oval. Oval said, thanks for saying it's okay to throw out Christmas non-keto food. I had just done that. Tomorrow is garbage day, but was feeling a little guilty about throwing away perfectly good food, knowing that there are many hungry people that would love to have it on their tables. I've tried not to, I've tried to not make too much uh, so I would have leftovers except for the ham, but I gave extras to our guests and my mom to take home with them. That is really nice. You know, I was talking to Michelle and John Paul last night. They're trying to clean up their eating a little They're bit. They're trying to clean up eating too. And so she said the same thing we said, like, you know, I threw out everything that was not going to forward my goals. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it because I am seeing this food as not good for anybody. Right. So why would I want to give this to someone, even if we lived in a climate where you could give half eaten food out, right. right? Like once you open a bag of stuff, especially in this day and age, no one wants that food. Right? right? Like no one wants it from one household to another. We're trying, you know, we're trying to be very, very careful with, with things that we would donate. Right. So you're, you're not going to be able to share it in that vein. And then also, why would I want to give somebody something that I see as poison right now? Right. Now, if you have canned vegetables or something like that, that you are not going to eat, please go donate them to a food bank. But if you have like bags of potato chips and, and stuff like empty. that. And it, it, throw that stuff out. And the one thing I will tell you, please do not donate. I don't care how much of it you have in the house. And that is the seed oils, canola oil, corn oil, vegetable, throw that stuff out. It is poison for everybody, keto or not keto. Dr. Barry has talked about that in several videos. Just don't give that to anybody. Don't donate it. Throw it in the garbage. Don't give anybody the gift of inflammation. Yes. No one wants that gift. Uh, next one is from Joan. Hey, Joan. Joan said, I'd rather non-keto food go to waste than go to the waste. Amen. Like, seriously. But you have to get that in your mind. And I understand that that is difficult because 
I grew up thinking that I needed to clean up everything. I cleaned up at work. If there was like leftover, you know, stuff, it, donuts, bagels, anything, it's like, oh, well, I don't want that to go to waste. Right. Why do I, do I need that on my waist? Right. No, let yeah. it go to waste. Uh, next one is from Robin. Hey Robin, Rachel, I had to laugh about the description of you and Chipotle because I was the same way about the movie Jurassic Park. Everybody wanted me to go see it and I just flat out refused. And then my biology professor in college made the book required reading and I refused to read the book on the same grounds. That is so <laughs> funny. That's my personality though. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Brittany. Hey, Brittany. Uh, what do you find is the best way to cook bacon? Cooking in the frying pan gets messy and smoky in the kitchen. Any recommendations? Just making sure that wasn't like Becky or somebody. Um, so cooking, if you want, if you if you have a frying, first of all, if you have an outside blackstone, that's the best place to cook it. Uh, some people like to cook it in the oven. We have done that. I don't like the splatter you get all over the oven because then you have to clean your oven. So if you're gonna do it in the house, I would get do a frying pan and then you can get a screen. It's an actual grease screen that goes over your frying pan. I left a link for one down below and you just kind of put your bacon in there and put the screen over that and that helps prevent the splatter. You can also do it in the microwave. If you have a microwave, wrap your bacon in a paper towel and then put it in the microwave and you will get a nice crispy texture without it being chewy. Uh, next one is from Jennifer. Hey Jennifer, Joe and Rachel, I don't like you right now. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Just tried the lolly macadamia and peanut butter. So delicious, I can't stop eating and it doesn't affect my type one blood sugars. I've got to stop eating it. Just ordered more, they're going in the freezer. I totally get that, it is very delicious. It, but I think it's, it's one of the best guilt-free snacks that you can have. I love how she's like, I'm upset that it's not affecting me. Right. It's not affecting the type one. Uh, I'm gonna add a little fade to black so that when we put this over to a video, uh, I have a place for the commercial break. Don't quit, don't stop, keep going, you got this. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Carolyn said uh, Dr. Bacon, Dr. Berry's bacon chips method works well. You yeah. can do it in an instant pot. So Absolutely. There's lots of ways to do it, but if you have an outside Blackstone, that that is, probably one of the best uses for a Blackstone. My mom even cooks things on a single burner that you plug in electric wise outside on her yeah, patio. Yeah, you can get those for like 12 bucks. Yeah. Uh, next one's from Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Rachel was right to be nervous. Uh-oh. I started BBB and E today, decided to get my dad started with coffee per usual, but I wanted to try the egg in my coffee. So like Joe does, I get my Vitamix, I pour my coffee in, but unlike Joe, I put the lid on just in case. Turn control on low and started the Vitamix. Yep, a lovely explosion. Oh, no. LOL, Joe makes it look so easy. Alternatively, I put the egg in first, started the machine, then added the coffee slowly while ah. on top of a lid and butter, much safer. Cheers. Still was a great start to the day. Nothing makes a mess like a blender can make a mess. So here's, oh my gosh. So here's the thing, if you're gonna do, you don't, don't fill it all the way to the top. Start it on very low. The reason it probably exploded when you put the lid on top because you had the pressure build up from the heat. So that's one of the reasons that I start it and then put the top on. Yes, I'm taking a risk. Funny story, even though I know this is gonna be ridiculous, we're gonna go into the Keto Chow live stream, so I apologize to Chris and Miriam for right that. But on Christmas Day, I was like, I want oh, yeah. eggnog. Mm -hmm. I really, really, really want eggnog. So we have a recipe on our website for keto eggnog. And we were doing it with no alcohol, even though there, there is alcohol in that recipe. We decided we're gonna make it without alcohol and there's, there's a way to make it without alcohol in the recipe. So I put everything on the stove and I kind of forgot about it when we were unwrapping presents. And so- He was playing Santa. I needed to now take it and go put it in the Vitamix to blend it up because- Trying to multitask. I, I was almost starting to cook the egg a little bit. And I put it in and I, I turned on, I put the lid on and I turned it on and as I put the lid on, the little stopper top in the middle of the Vitamix lid Oops. fell off, dropped into the Vitamix while it was running uh -huh. and just splattered 
everywhere. Do I get a back pat for not exploding on you? You a little bit exploded on me. Well, I just, I think my eyes just exploded, but I didn't say anything, right? Like, I just looked like, was that really necessary? Yeah, was that necessary for us to have eggnog? And I was like, yes, it really was. But you looked at me like the kids look at me when they know they've done something wrong, which is kind of like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. I'm so sorry. It was like, we were having an eye discussion right there. Oh, okay. Next one's from Andrea. Hey, Andrea, I am very delighted. Following the ho, 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 just a keto thing over the holidays, I way overindulged and often, but I made myself follow one rule. Whatever I ate, for whatever reason, had to be keto ingredients wise. I weighed myself today, first time since October, and I weighed one pound less. That's amazing. Wow. That was the whole point. One thing, if you just have one challenge for yourself, and this may be speaking to somebody that's like, hey, I'm not doing beef, butter, bacon, and egg, but I do want to challenge myself in, in, in one way. If you just make January, no kidding keto, mm -hmm. you will find success because you're doing better than you've done in the past. Yeah. Blue Dove says, I love air fryer bacon. It comes out perfect every time. That's another great that way. That is great. That kind of reduces the smoke a Clo little bit. Close it and it's not splattering everywhere. We forgot to close the door. Uh, so the cat is in your armpit. Yes. Next one is from James. Hey, James. Has anyone noticed no ants or roaches since the absence of sugar? We used to get those huge black carpenter ants all over the kitchen and the sunroom. It's true. It, we actually saw, and you have to take this into account because again, we are constantly getting hate about, hey, you guys are suggesting eating all meat and I can't afford that and da, 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 da. Here's the thing. You have to look at the other costs in your life that you are no longer spending money on. Over-the-counter medicine. And for us, it was pest control. Mm -hmm. We have the pest control person out half as much yep. as we used to. Now it really we have termites, is. termites, but that's a different have, point. That is a different situation. That's a wood thing. I can't, I, there was no wood in our diet before keto, right. right? And there's no wood in our diet now. But we used to get roaches. We used to get those ants. Absolutely. We called them sugar ants. Yep. We don't even get. We never get those anymore. Like there's all kinds of little bugs, even spiders. Yeah. There's been a reduction in it because there's not stuff in our cupboards for them to try to eat. We used to open up our cabinets in the middle of the night and the palmetto bugs would Scurry. Yeah. And they would eat through anything because we, again, we were huge couponers. We were one of those crazy coupon families. And so we would get a lot of those like taco seasonings and add in rice things and all that stuff for free because yeah. they were like buy one, get one free coupons. Yeah. And we had stockpiles of it. And you would go into the cabinet and the roaches would literally eat through the package to get into it. And when that all went, all of the palmetto bugs, which are, they look like roaches, yeah. they went away. We have we have palmetto bugs really in two areas of our house now. In the garage, uh, because it's Anytime connected to the outside, and we have a lot of cardboard in the garage, and they are attracted to cardboard, and in our shed. And so I've just been, like, every once in a while, put a bomb out there, but we don't have them in the house anymore. We are in South Florida, which is notorious for having lots of bugs, but it's amazing that... We don't have the sugar ants or the ghost ants anywhere in the house, and we don't have all the palmetto bugs running around. And, and that is an expense. We're not opening up cabinets and seeing palmetto bug poop everywhere. So it's like all of those things, even the over-the-counter Home Depot, you know, roach and ant remedies that we used to have to purchase on the regular, we're no longer yeah. spending money on. And that stuff is not cheap. No, it's very expensive. Uh, next one's from Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Starting BBB and E today, however, I'm a still a big woman at 312 pounds trying to get healthy, and I've already lost 56 pounds. Way to go. I know it has been said that you can eat all you want on this till you're comfortably stuffed, uh, but is it bad if I can still put away a dozen hard-boiled eggs by myself? I want to do this right, but I'm feeling that I could do some damage with eating too much. Thoughts and help. Okay, so let's let's clear this up a little bit. Not comfortably stuffed. Till you're satisfied. Yeah. Till you're comfortably full. Can you still go on with your day? One thing I would say is slow down your eating a little bit. So I love like one of the things that Dr. Cyrus talks about where what you do is if you can eat a dozen eggs, make yourself a dozen eggs yeah. or maybe make a half a dozen eggs, eat a half a dozen eggs. And then when you are done with those, because eggs don't take that long to cook, go ahead and make some more. Yeah. But... 
one of the things that Rachel used to struggle with is I have to finish my plate. So if I put a dozen eggs on her plate, she was eating them no matter how full she got. So she started using chopsticks because that would slow her down because it does take about 10 minutes for your brain to know that your stomach is full. So Dr. Cyrus calls it sequential eating. So if you wanna make all dozen eggs at once, make them, but put them in the middle of the table and put two or three on your plate. Or what we do, because we eat a lot of our meals in our bedroom, it's about the only time we watch TV is when, really when we're falling asleep and when we're eating. So I will put a little bit of food on our plate and then the rest is in the kitchen. So we have to get and up. And so now, so I, for example, wings, I will give Rachel 10 wings. And then when she's done with them, she may or may not say to me, I want more. And then I will get up and I will go get more. But it was amazing that I could put 30 wings on her plate. She can eat them all in a sitting. Yeah. But when I only put 10 or 15, when she was done, she was like, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I don't need any more. But so knowing slowing down will help. That really does help. And also knowing that the food is still there. Like you may still want to make a dozen eggs and put it in the other room because I had some issues with food where I needed to know there was more food if I wanted it. Mm -hmm. If I felt like, hey, this is, and I think a lot of it goes back to the lean cuisine diets and those type of things where it was like, you know, your plate was this little and I would be like, oh, like I, I'm eating this little bit of food and I can't eat again until I get another meal of little bit of food. So it really helped me mentally to know, yeah, Rachel, there's more food in the other room, but you don't get it all at once. I just need the security of knowing that it was still there and yeah. made for me if I wanted it. Now to answer your question, if you're eating a dozen eggs, you're not, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. And that was Dr. Barry's whole point. If you stick to just beef, butter, bacon, and egg, you are not going to gain fat. You're yeah. just, you're not going to be able to overeat. Now at the beginning, you may, you may be eating more, but you're going to find the longer you do it as you're giving yourself, your body, the healthy food options of beef, butter, bacon, and egg, you're going to end up eating less. And a perfect example is Rachel. Going into beef, butter, bacon, eggs, going back to wings, she would eat 30 wings. Yeah. She can't eat more than, I gave her 15 the other day, she got to 12 and she's like, I'm stuffed. Which is, I had never experienced before. But I think that we are, we are doing a little bit of battling with our inner chaos yeah. and, our, and our past relationship with food. And I think I needed to stretch the boundaries of like what, what was really going on in my mind and thought process. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Help me out. I keep seeing the acronym BBB throw around in this group. What does that exactly stand for? Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs? If so, aren't you guys worried about your cholesterol? I know the keto diet also typically follows high fats, but I tend to my to do my best to not go overboard of this because of my concern for developing other health issues. My husband and I typically don't eat beef because eating it too often can increase the risk of heart disease. We stick to ch chicken or turkey. Okay, again, not doctors or nurses or health professionals. The whole idea that beef causes heart disease is a farce. It's a farce. I mean, and do with that what you want. There are lots of studies. There's nothing that has ever proven that beef is, increases heart disease. There's lots of really bad studies and studies that are funded by big food and things like that. It's like years ago when they came out with canola oil and said, this is the heart healthy thing. Why? Because it could lower your LDL. But what about all the inflammation and everything that it's increasing? Um, we did beef, butter, bacon, and egg for 44 days. Was our total cholesterol high? Yes. But did you take a look at where our triglycerides went, which is much more important? Our HDL went sky high. Our fasting insulin was very low. So there's a lot of factors in it, but I would definitely go check out Dr. Barry's videos, Dr. Cywis, Dr. Fit and Fabulous, Dr. Boz, go check out Dave Feldman's thing on cholesterol code. And you'll, as you start to research for yourself uh, on cholesterol and issues like that, you're gonna start to go, it's not as big of a deal as a lot of the big food and big pharma companies are leading us to believe. More and more doctors are now starting to go, it's not so much about the LDL, because your body needs cholesterol. 
The real issue with high cholesterol is when you're combining it with carbohydrates. Well, and we, the only thing that we can do is show you yep. what's happening. We're eating a tremendous amount of beef. You guys can see that. And then you're seeing our lab results and you're seeing how, how we look at a day. We, we're trying to vlog even more so that you're seeing how we are on it because I understand that it is scary yeah. and people are hesitant to experiment on themselves. So we're sort of willing to just be the guinea pig and show you what's happening with us as we do it. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Karen. Hey, Karen. I am excited to join the Two Crazy Ketos family on the BBBE challenge in January. I'm hoping this challenge will help me take hold of my overeating, get a better understanding of my hunger cues, and to break my three-month stall. I am happy to report that following the Ho 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 Just Stay Keto challenge in December allowed me not to start 2022 up 10 pounds like previous years. I have ground beef and a ribeye steak thong in the fridge and will be attempting my first batch of butter mayo in the morning wish me luck good luck Karen and I'm just excited for all the people who have shared with us that they at least did not start January for the first time with a, like extra weight to lose that I mean when we had thought about what we were going to do for December and I looked at Rachel and I said listen here's the thing every year people have the same issue including ourselves where you you kind of do whatever you want in December and recover you, in you January. Recover in January. And we're like, and the bottom line is you never recover because your whole January, if, if you did it right, the best that you're going to be able to accomplish is probably get rid of whatever you put on in December. It's yeah. like pre keto, we've talked about this in the past how we would on Sunday binge so bad that one day I figured it out and I think we would eat an average of 15,000 calories. That is not an exaggeration on a Sunday, we would go to Golden Corral and then for lunch or slash dinner, we would order like Outback Steakhouse, like every appetizer. We didn't even get steak. We would just yeah. get chocolate thunder from Down Unders and the French fries and the wings. And, and then we would eat that. Monday through Friday. And that was Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we would punish ourselves for what we did on Sunday. Yeah. And at the end of the week, we'd be like, oh, I'm back even, or I'm only up a half a pound. And then we would do that constant cycle. And so when I looked at her and I said like, let's do this for December, let's just try to maintain. Let's not even try to focus on losing weight in the month of December, because that's a month where most people gain weight. So if we can just maintain, now January when you restart, now you can lose the weight you wanted to lose to begin with. So I'm so yeah. glad that that has worked out for so many people. Yeah, thank you for all of the emails and, and messages about that. Now I, I do want to say, if you really do beef, butter, bacon, and egg correctly, all those things you're looking for, a body recomposition and a restart, they're going to happen. Uh, next one's from Rita. Hey Rita, I'm trying to find the list of labs that Dr. Berry says we should have done and can't find it anywhere. Can someone post the list or a link please? I have a doctor's appointment on the 10th and want my labs done before that. Thank okay, you. Okay, Rita, so I have a link down below for Own Your Labs. If you use that link, you're gonna get 5% off and that is gonna give you the five labs that Dr. Berry recommended to us. And that is a metabolic panel, A1C, an NMR lipo profile, which is a comprehensive cholesterol. You can also get the, the, the smaller one, but I would just go with the NMR. Uh, insulin and C peptide and C reactive protein. So if you use that link, that'll automatically put all five in your cart and give you a 5% discount. We don't make any money off of that. I had just contacted Own Your Labs and said, listen, these are the tests we got. We want to encourage people to and get them so it. they could learn some more about what's going on with themselves without having to go to the doctor and paying ridiculous money. What you're gonna pay for those tests through Own Your Labs fraction. is a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for just one of them if you go through your doctor and even with your insurance and stuff a lot of times. So uh, also when you do that, 
they have a thing where you can get another 10% discount if you allow them to use your lab results anonymously for further research to learn more about cholesterol and things like that. So go ahead and use that link. But those are the tests that Dr. Barry recommended that we get when we started Beef, Butter, Bacon, and Egg. And that's why we put that package together. And I love the opportunity to be a part of a real test mm -hmm. at, when it comes to cholesterol. That is not fueled and funded by somebody that's trying to make the results work for big food or big farm. Rachel put that link up. Thank you very much, Rachel. By the way, you will only get that discount if you use that link. That's how they set it up. And again, we're not making any money off of it. We we just asked her, can you give them a little just discount? Just want to make it easy for people. Yep. Uh, next one is from Barb. Hey, Barb. Barb said, last year I focused on all the stress of my life. It became overwhelming. I gained a lot of weight. By the start of the new school year, I knew I had to start something new. I got on the keto wagon again after four years off, and I didn't have community or support. Last time and in the seven months, I only lost 11 pounds, and my doctor scared me into getting off. This time, I found community, family support, and better guidelines. I am armed with knowledge, and I go into the new year ready to seize opportunity, embrace the struggles, and rest easy knowing I am not alone. I love Thank that. Thank you to you all. Even when I am silent, I am only watching from the sidelines. You are inspirational and so very helpful. Here is to the best new year. And she put up this thing. says, we will open that the book. Uh, its pages are blank. We are going to put words on themselves. Then the ourselves. book is called Opportunity. I can't read it because it's white. The book is called Opportunity, and its first chapter is New Year's Day. That is great. I mean, every morning there's new mercy, right? Like there's a new opportunity for us to start the day the way that we want it to go, right? Mm -hmm. And just write that chapter ourselves. I love that. Okay, there is one more. And look at that. We, we need to have issues more often. It made us like hustle through. Get going. Yep. Uh, so there's one more. It's from Michelle. Hey, Michelle. And she said, not sure I should overcome with my keto journey. No, should continue. I should continue with my keto journey. We're getting Sorry. Joe glasses in the new year. I've lost 20 pounds since starting in October. From 165, I'm a black woman who loves my curves. Now my hips and butt are gone. My legs are skinnier. I am 55 years old and my spouse says I look 35. Ooh. The problem is I don't want to get skinnier. Plus, I was just... Uh, Diagnosed? I was just diagnosed with diabetes on the very low end and high cholesterol. That's why I started keto. How do I stop the weight loss? Increase. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to increase the amount of food and the fat you're eating, but do it slowly. Do it with what's called a reverse diet. And I'm going to strongly encourage you to follow one to one. So what weight do you want to weigh? You want to maintain what was your weight that you said? Your weight is 165? Uh-huh. Is that where she is at? Wait, now? I started from 165. Okay. Okay. So whatever weight you want to maintain. Let's say you're 135 pounds now and you want to maintain that weight. Let's if you're at 135, start eating 135 grams of protein and 135 grams of fat per day or a fuel, which is your fat and your carbs. Don't go off a of keto, especially if you were diagnosed as a diabetic, because that's going to cause some other issues to come back. On what you're going to do is every week maybe increase just a little bit. Increase the amount of fat and protein just a little bit, maybe 25 to 50 calories worth. So maybe this week you're gonna start at 135, do that for a couple weeks, and then next week increase it to maybe 140 and 140. And you're gonna do it nice and slow. And you're gonna see what's gonna happen is at some point you're gonna plateau. You're either going to not lose weight or you're going to start gaining weight and when you get there you're like okay this is my homeostasis but don't jump in and say like if you're eating 135 grams of protein and fat a day right now and say like oh i don't want to lose any more weight and double it or go back to your old eating lifestyle because then you will gain a bunch of weight you want to do it slowly and find where is your body's homeostasis well and i'm going to say something that i can't even believe is coming out of rachel's mouth but you know, there are different exercises we can do to build up certain areas of our body, mm -hmm. right? I mean, like you you see different people like Jennifer Lopez and Halle Berry, they're, they're doing specific exercises because they want to build 
curves and keep curves that right. they enjoy right. while trimming areas that they don't. Yeah. Okay, let's do a few comments and uh, then we will get off. And again, we are so sorry yeah. that we've had all of the issues. So Cool Kid Keto said, I'm going to have Han smoke two packs of bacon ends and pieces nice. on Friday. The smoky flavor is so good and they reheat well. Truly. Blue Dub, thank you very much for being a channel member for three months. She said BBB 2.0 is get ready for low carb cruise. I think that is a fantastic goal. Yes. Really good goal. Lady Smith said, love Dr. Barry's bacon chip method. Surprisingly, I really don't crave them as much as I used to. Isn't that interesting how your palate changes? It's amazing. I think about over the years, what was a deal breaker ingredient for me and how that has changed mm -hmm. over the years. It really truly has, even on keto. Every year that that goes by, we have different things that we enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, just, a, and it, that's okay right. that we crave new things. Serena said, I wanna challenge myself, but I'm not sure what I want to do. Any well, ideas? Well, I think that, um, I think you need to think about like, what do you want? What do you want to be able to do? I really enjoy that thought of what is the activity that you're not doing right now that you'd like to be able to do by the end of the year. For me, Anthony is somebody that has always had tremendous upper body strength. We used to always call him our monkey because he could just climb things. And although I've, I wish I still had that picture when we first started dating, he climbed. A I goal was post. I was at John Paul had a baseball tournament up in Disney World, and so Rachel drove up for the day to watch John Paul play, and so she came over to. We were all at like one of the Disney resorts. The it was the, the sports. All Star Sports, and Anthony climbed on top of the football helmet. That was in the middle of the thing. And Rachel looked up and here's this kid who's climbed like 30 feet up. I mean, he would he was able to just use his arm strength to pull him up. Well, and, and that's the thing. I have always had a struggle with my arm strength. Right. Even doing like pull-ups and stuff is very, very difficult for me. So this year, my, my goal is not to lose a certain amount of weight or fit into a certain size. My goal is to do an activity which is climb up a rock wall. I have always wanted to do it and never been able to do it. Mm -hmm. So my new do is by the end of this year, I would like to be able to climb up a rock wall. Okay, so- You don't have till the end of the year. You have until May. Okay. Cause well, there's gonna be a rock climbing wall on the cruise. Is there? Okay. So here's the thing. My, what I, what I do in a day is either going to be fueling that goal or it's going to be an obstacle to that goal. Mm -hmm. So if I am sitting on the couch, that is an obstacle to me climbing that rock wall That's because right. I need to build my upper body strength. So what do I need to do in a day to work out that? I need to do some strength training. I need to practice. I need to do some activities that will fuel that goal. So I think you need to decide what is it that you want to do? What experience do you want to be able to do that you can't do right now? And that will give you a better idea of like what direction you need to do you know, take. That's good. Lady Smith said, what is a palmetto bug? It's basically a roach. A roach that flies. It's a flying roach. It's a pretty big thing down here. They're huge. They're horrifying. And it's not even necessarily a thing that you're dirty. They just, it's a, it's a thing that's here in Florida. Pretty much everybody gets them. But what we've learned is Sh getting some of the sugar out of the house sugar helps not them. have them in the house. But like we said, they love cardboard. So we have lots of cardboard boxes and stuff because we, you know, we do shipping and we used to do a lot of shipping for Rachel's brother. So all of that would just pile up. And I remember the pest control guy was like, you're as so long as you have that cardboard, you're never getting rid of them. Yeah. He's like, maybe when you tent your house one day, that would like stave them off for a while. But he's like, it's, it's difficult to control them here it in is. Florida. Uh, Kumi said, does your egg coffee interrupt intermittent fasting? I prefer to wait, not to wait until noon for my first coffee. Yes. So here's the thing about intermittent fasting. And there's, there's lots of videos out about this, but the bottom line is if you're consuming anything with calories, it's good. It intermits intermittent fasting. It, it interrupts intermittent fasting. Yeah. Fat does cause a slight insulin reaction. I know everybody's like, oh, fat is, does it? It does. Anytime you eat something, you will have some type of an insulin reaction. 
and any type of an insulin reaction is going to have something, you know, some impact on intermittent fasting. So, you know, if you wanna add protein, if you wanna add an egg, that is going to stop intermittent fasting. I always suggest don't intermittent fast every single day. It's better to change things up. So maybe only do it two or three days a week. And Thomas DeLawler has put lots of videos out about this. But if you're doing beef, butter, or bacon, and egg, you don't even have to. That's eat. the joy You're gonna of find it. some days you wanna eat and some days you don't. It's delightful. Uh, Rankin Cook said, eat thoughtful and take time to enjoy what you are eating. That is a very, very important thing because and I think that beef, butter, bacon, and eggs really helps that because we are eating beautiful food that takes time to cook and prepare. Like we're having a roast today. We're using, we're gonna be using the Instapot to cook it, but it's a beautiful thing to yeah. behold. And it takes some time and preparation. It's not coming out of a wrapper, like right. a lot of our pre-keto food was. It's not like all it is is you're lifting up a microwave safe dish and putting it in the microwave. Like usually in January, everything was lean cuisine and healthy choice. Yep. There's nothing about that food and preparing that food that makes you spill, feel special. Right. It's like you're, you're lifting, burping up that top, right? Right, sticking in the microwave and in two minutes food is ready for you you don't feel special when you look at it it doesn't right. even look like the cover right you would get like the that gross overdone food so there's something special about having food that is prepared and takes time yeah. Martha said on that topic was that my goal weight but during 2021 I gained about 15 pounds still keto carnivore too many keto treats nut flour and dairy are not my friend so getting back on carnivore, goal weight coming soon. And yeah, people think that if you do keto, you're always gonna lose weight. You can get heavy on keto. Yeah. How often are you eating? What are you eating? There's lots of hidden carbs. That's why I know people don't like it when I say there is there is just about a little bit less than a carb in a cup of coffee. There are always all heavy whipping cream has carbs. There are carbs and spices. There's lots of things when, because companies can round down on a label where we think we're eating zero carbs and they slowly can add up. There's carbs in eggs. So we're always going to say that because we want to help you in your journey, but you can gain weight if you're eating too many carbs, if you're eating too much dairy, if you're eating too many nuts, um, if you're eating 50 times a day, because again, as I just said, every time you eat, you're having some type of an insulin reaction. If you're super stressed, if you're not getting enough sleep, I mean, all of that can impact weight loss and weight stability. I think sometimes we oversimplify or we look at our bodies like it's just, a, it's so simple. Yeah. And there's so many factors going on. We really are amazing and our body is processing it all. So yeah, like if you're, you know, speaking positively to yourself, getting sleep, you know, scheduling rest, Right. not like uh, taking on a tremendous amount of stress, reducing your stress is, is a, I mean, it's important to take a look in the stress pantry. Right. What are we allowing to stay in our stress pantry? Yeah. Matreya said, I'm glad you're clarifying this stuff terminology. Sometimes people get confused and they think they have to gorge until you have that not even a wafer thin mint over full. Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing. And that's why I said that comfortably that's what dr barry he's always used that word comfortably full if we eat till we're stuffed we're not comfortably full yeah i i actually like the term somebody recently brought it up and i'm like that's a much better term eat until you're satisfied or satiated because if you eat until the point that you are stuffed you've eaten too much right because again it takes about 10 minutes for your brain to know where you're at so if you eat until your brain is telling you you're stuffed in about an hour, it's gonna to wanna to come out both ends. Well, so and, just satiate it. And the goal too is to it for it to fuel your day. Your food should be fueling your day. If my food is making me have to go lay down and pause my day, stop my day. Like I used to eat until I need to go take lay down. Right. That is not fueling my day. That is stalling my day. Right. Uh, I just saw there was one here. Um, Rankin Cook said because he's been doing beef, butter, bacon, and egg for a little while. I, yeah. I found on beef, butter, bacon, and egg, I eat less now than when I first started because it's, it's true. it just takes a little time. And Mary said 
the off switch repair, which is like eat, knowing when to stop, does happen. Yeah. But it takes a really long time. But once it happens, though, it's freedom. It is. Some days I want to overeat something, but I just can't. Freedom. I, I really need to share this with people who have ha who eat like me which is i could eat the horse and rider like i absolutely can could always eat a tremendous amount of food in a sitting i am not joe joe is somebody who can like eat a small meal and then eat later and later and later i always felt like i needed to eat until i needed to pass out right and so the fact that like, yes, we push that on beef, butter, bacon, and egg. That that was a beautiful thing. I was stretching the boundaries to see, is this unconditional? Like, is this really, truly, like I can eat as much as I want. Well, you don't know how much I can eat. I went ahead and pushed that boundary. And on the other side of it really is like Mary saying, it is freedom. Yeah, uh, a few more. Paul said, Dr. Boz recently did a great tutorial on uh, cholesterol. Yeah, that we've mentioned that in the past. Go over to Dr. Boz's channel. Check it's got out. really cool diagrams and everything. Yeah. Mary said, my doctor looks at my highish LDL, but he says he can't just look at one marker. He has to look at a whole picture. And he says, my picture is pretty as can be. I love that. And yeah, that's the thing. I mean, think about that when you go, because if you're getting tests done, you need to look at the whole picture. And when a doctor looks at that one number and, and starts to be like, well, this is a problem, take a moment and say, okay, let's discuss this whole picture though. How are all of these things going? Because I'm not interested in a seesaw effect where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to bring down that total cholesterol number, but I need to have diabetes, Right. you know? Uh, Darth said, finally found you live. You guys are a hoot, January 2021 to, to now went keto, lost over 50 pounds, wow. all labs normal. A few other problems have popped up, but I believe keto has helped. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Jennifer said, happy to say I'm down five pounds to start the year. Way to that go, is Jennifer. Uh, Rachel put up that. Uh, Linda said, I love this. I was listening to the two of you on my phone and my husband heard your voices and said, is that two crazy ketos? I just cracked up. The two Aww. of you are awesome. Linda, thanks for sharing us. Lori said, my non-keto pastry chef daughter has been starting with us. I made five different keto, uh, staying with us. I made five different wow. keto cookies, ended up throwing almost all of it away. I'd rather toss than be tempted. That, I think it's a brilliant move because all, I mean, and you enjoyed it for the time that it, you know, for the part party you know like i think a fly that's flying around. i know how did you get in here yeah i think you enjoyed it for the day and if you truly said well hey for today i am doing this okay if the if the those 24 hours are over then doesn't it make sense that you're moving on mm -hmm. that you're not like staying continuing to eat that Juju said, Joe, I added a full cup to my lasagna meat of sauce. I didn't read. Any suggestions on adapting when I assemble? Um, just don't add more sauce on top or in the layers. So just the only the only issue you may have because you, and I do it too. In fact, I used an entire jar when I made for Christmas. Um, the only thing you may find is when you first take it out of the oven, it may be a little water, watery. But as with all lasagna, if you let it sit, especially if you kind of like make it in the morning and then wait until the evening to eat it. Um, the water kind of goes away. It all just gets absorbed and everything. I, I always prefer lasagna the next day. Uh, so yeah, just don't add more sauce later on because all the sauce is already in the meat. Stephanie has got a challenge that totally resonates with me. My challenge for January is giving up chewing gum. Yes, I used to be a pack a day, not smoker, chewer. I was a pack a day chewer. At least. Susan said, my son shot, climbed up one of those big swing sets. I just looked and calmly said, please come down. I was terrified. And, and that is the thing because you don't want to make the kids scared. I remember going like, wow, great job, Anthony. And then like slowly going down the stairs and trying to talk him down safely, but not look like I was freaking out, even though I was freaking out. Uh, Matreya said, palmetto bugs, the bug that will hiss back at you if you don't get out of its way. It really does. Yep. It is It is a frightening Yeah, animal. Lady Smith said, oh God, a flying roach? <laughs> I'll stay up here. <laughs> Seriously. It's, they're very unnerving. Shauna said, when my niece was 18 months, she climbed to the top of a floor to climb ceiling bookshelf uh -huh. and was sitting on top. Oh my gosh. So Anthony actually had to go into a regular bed before he was a year old because by the time he was a year old, he was able to completely climb out of his crib 
from the very bottom. There was just no lower to its in lowest a crib. setting. There was no keeping before he was a year old, he was able to climb out of that. And I think we were dating at the time at one point. I was a baseball umpire and I was umpiring a game. I I want to say he was like seven years old. And uh, he was there with John Paul, and we're doing, I'm doing a game, and I was, I want to say, the third base umpire for this game. And so the field was here, and then right next to it, there's a football field. And I look over, and Anthony used his arms to scale the football goalpost and was sitting on the crossbar. And you're like, I'm in the middle and of I'm a game. And I'm on a game. And I just look over at John Paul, who is staring at him. He was like <laughs> underneath him encouraging him right of course because brother and i'm like what are you will you please get your brother off of the upright of the goal post so you had an entire conversation with your eyeballs didn't you yeah oh yes uh blue dove said we call those tree roaches in texas Ooh. stephanie said flying roaches are what i experienced when living in houston texas it, it's and when you go to south miami where i went to school for college they get bigger they get bigger the further south you yeah. go so like you would see like a dead one on the sidewalk and i mean it would be this big yeah. around and you're like oh my gosh like if i run into this like i i, I picture running into it in an alley way at night like i don't want to run into that roach martha said yes totally agree about cholesterol triglycerides are much more important being low uh, Adrian said, when you add egg to your coffee, does it need to be beaten that day, eaten, uh, eaten that day, or uh, can it be made ahead of time in refrigerated? I would not make it ahead I of time would, in refrigerated. I would just eat it, um, drink it. Uh, we generally, like, drink ours. I drink my coffee slower than Rachel does. Um, I have reheated it, but on a very low heat. I have seen people say that it's kind of become almost a custard if they try to reheat it on a high heat in a microwave. Yeah. But I definitely... When it comes to, when, the one thing I will tell people when it comes to raw egg, I would not crack open an egg and then more than 24 hours. So like, you know, if I make one in the keto chow, like if I make a keto chow with raw egg, what I will generally do is make my keto chow ahead of time. And then I will, the, when I'm getting ready to drink it, add the egg in. Right. At most, I will do it the night before to drink it in the morning, but I won't go much further than that because, again, it's once you crack it open, that's where you could, as with anything, yeah. be causing some type of a food so illness. So basically, you're adding the keto chow and the liquid you want to use and then adding the egg in the morning. Yeah. Mary said, we can overeat and gain weight on keto. We don't count calories, but calories count. It's what I. That's why I don't recommend percentages when counting macros. 75% is 5,000 is too much. Yes, percentages... I hate when people are like 75% of your calories or 5% of your 5% of your diet should be carbs. Do you know what 5% of 3000 calories is? A it's lot. not 20 carbs. Right. You know, grams is always the best way to go. D Regan said, uh, my stomach doesn't talk to my brain very well either. I just have to stop myself and I finally kicks in. It's, it's, it's about getting repair. Yeah. And just giving yourself grace with it and talk, you know, talking to yourself nicely, but mm -hmm. talking to yourself. Cool Kid Keto said, one thing that has helped us on tracking total carbs instead of net carbs. So many keto-friendly products have low net carbs, but high total carbs, and it adds up. I think that is brilliant. And that is why we say if you want to do net carbs, that's fine, but have a total carb cap so that you can't overdo it. So if I make a total carb cap of 40, um, I can't have more than one NOLA bar in a day. Yeah. I can't have a NOLA bar and a keto brick and some, you know, high low chips because it may be under my net carbs, but it's going to exceed my total carbs. I can absolutely take 200 total carbs and turn it into zero net carbs. Yeah. It's very easy. When you're an addict, you figure out ways to play games with the numbers. I am very good at playing games with myself. Uh, Andy said, Palmetto Bugs put on sunglasses when you turn on the light, unlike roaches that run. Yeah, no, they just stand there like, what you gonna do, Rachel? And it's like, that, that's very frightening. Okay. Uh, Lady Smith said, holy moly, yep, 40, uh, 40 degrees sounds better than your bugs and all down there. Oh, I hope it does warm up. But yes, like I would, I, I think putting on a blanket is better than having to joust a roach. Mary said, as a child, I would run across a suspension bridge over a high canyon. I was terrified. I terrified my mother and she told me so. Now I cannot step on a suspension bridge. Don't scare the kid. with. <laughs> yeah, right. You're trying to be like, I want Anthony 
to to climb when he wants to, which he still will like climb trees and stuff even at his age because he just enjoys the fact that he can do it. But um, yeah, but it's that it's the same when you're you want your kid to learn how to drive a car. So you're in the car with them and you're trying to have that balance of this is what I want you to do, but not being like, I am so terrified right now that I'm going to make it so that you're afraid to drive. Yeah. Okay, we are gonna get off. We appreciate everybody for Thank sticking you. with us through all of the technical problems. And again, if you're seeing this later, sorry that the chat is not there. We're going to download the videos. And I'm gonna edit them and Make put it up quilt. as one actual keto on the couch. You know, sometimes issues just happen. It looks like obviously the problem was probably with the restream, uh, which we usually use that because it makes things easier and not as glitchy. But not today. But not today. So thank you everybody for sticking with us. Again, a reminder, uh, if you're a channel member or a Patreon, we'll be doing the live stream on Saturday. And then the following Tuesday is uh, the Coaching with Bronson, which again is free if you're a channel member or a Patreon member. Uh, also on Thursday, we will do our regular weekly live stream at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great night, guys. Bye.